The Cadillac Lyric is a new electric luxury SUV that will be released in 2023. It is expected to be a strong competitor. However, how does it move forward? The first electric vehicle produced by Cadillac will make you forget about all of the other staid crossovers that the brand manufactures. There are plenty of questions in your mind about what for the Cadillac Lyric in the year 2023. Is the 2023 Cadillac Lyric a respectable sport utility vehicle? Can you tell me about it and the kind of car it is? How does it stack up against other things? Hey intellectuals, welcome back to Tech Electric. In this video, we are going to find out the Tesla Furious first drive review of the Cadillac Lyric Electric 2023. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. The exotic looks imagined by imaginative designers inevitably face the hard reality of governmental regulations, production limits, and everyday use when automakers introduce new models. What it's like to drive and how it all came together are detailed in this video. Computer-aided engineering, as claimed by Cadillac Lyric's executive chief engineer Jamie Brewer, was a crucial tool in achieving this goal. She says the team spent $200 million simulating the Lyric vehicles on GM's computers. According to Brewer, we were 80% there by the time we manufactured our first prototype car and could get straight into tuning. Meaningful because the Lyric is the first of Cadillac's all-electric cars. The company promises it will exclusively provide battery-powered new models from now on. It represents everything Cadillac hopes to be in the future. That entails resolving challenges with noise control now that the combustion engine isn't there to serve as white noise to drown out other, more unpleasant sounds. This is the 2023 Cadillac Lyric, which will be the first fully electric vehicle produced by Cadillac as part of their future lineup of EVs alone. When it comes to motors, the Lyric offers users two different choices. You have the option of getting the rear-wheel drive only version, which has an estimated range of 312 miles, or the all-wheel drive version, which has two motors and whose range has not yet been determined. The rear-wheel drive model has a base price of slightly under $63,000, 340 horsepower, and 325 pound-feet of torque. It comes with a battery that has a 102 kilowatt-hour capacity. The all-wheel drive version of the Lyric is equipped with the same battery, but it starts at $65,000 and has 500 horsepower. The Lyric appears to have changing times that are on par with those of other EVs. There is enough for five passengers inside of the Lyric. Because there is no transmission tube, the center seat in this vehicle may actually accommodate a person. When both rear seats are in their upright positions, there is a large 28 cubic feet of cargo capacity. When the second row is removed, the available space measures 60.8 cubic feet. That appears to be land suitable for station wagons. For the record, it has a deep-seated affection for station wagons, therefore this is a really positive development. You will get extremely comfortable up front. The 33-inch LED display, which has a control panel for personalizing the digital gauge cluster, your driving information and your entertainment interface, is without a doubt the most striking element of the cabin. It is also the largest display in the vehicle. One of the things about it that is disheartening is the fact that there are so many functions that there are a lot of levels to navigate through in order to get things done. Because of this, we have a feeling that it will continue to be a problem for all manufacturers, regardless of how much emphasis they place on touchscreens rather than buttons. Regarding the interior fit and finishes, it seems as though a wide variety of materials were utilized, and we do not believe that they complement one another in any way. Around the touchscreen, you'll discover brushed chrome as well as polished chrome, which is, coincidentally, in an area that will reflect the sunlight while you're driving. In the doors, there is open pore wood that looks wonderful, but on the center console, it feels like low-cost plastic, which is exactly what the cup holder bezels are made of. The complete console does not have a high-end appearance. The Lyric provides a ride that is calm and relaxing the entire time. The Ultium platform that the Lyric rides on is identical to the one that the GMC Hummer EV travels on. The only difference is that the Lyric only has one layer of batteries, thus it does not have to move around as much weight. It has a low center of gravity, which contributes to a feeling of stability and well-balanced and it confidently takes turns. In general, people are posting comments by saying we have a great time during the journey. The functioning of the regen braking is quite interesting. You have the option to turn it off for a more natural feel. You can turn it on and use this paddle on the steering wheel that is touch sensitive and basically acts like a brake, similar to how the Chevy Bolt does it. Or you can adjust the regen to a high setting so that you don't have to get into the brake at all. Cadillac has gone the extra mile by adding more materials that provide dampening to the inside in order to achieve its goal of a super silent ride, and they have been very successful. 
This is a pre-production model, but we've seen it function on other cars, so whoops! Wireless charging, an AKG 19 speaker audio system, and Super Cruise are some of the additional luxuries that come standard on the Lyric. The automated charge port door is another perk that comes standard on the Lyric. There is a lot to admire about this place, even just taking a cursory glance at the outside. We really like how it looks. We think it looks like a futuristic station wagon and has some gorgeous touring car elements like a long dash to axle ratio, short overhangs, and a low roof. We also think it has some vibes of a station wagon from the future. It looks like a Citroën DS to me when viewed from certain angles. So does the Lyric live up to the expectations that were set for it by Cadillac? In some respects, the answer is yes. The outside style is conceptual and looks very far into the future. The number of standard features is impressive, and there is genuine innovation taking place here. The interior is beautifully designed, but considering the premium pricing, we were a little underwhelmed by the quality of the fit and finish. However, there is a significant need for this. If you have not yet placed an order, the model year 2024 is the earliest delivery window for your Lyric. The Lyric's disadvantage is the same as the F-150 Lightnings. Cadillac can't produce its new SUV fast enough, as demand far exceeds supply. The 2023 model year is sold out, and those buying a 2024 Lyric may expect an 8-9 month wait. You could say that's a good thing to have, given the desire for electric cars. With the global supply chain as it is, it's a reminder that the electric transition many car companies are talking about depends on issues outside drivers' willingness to ditch gas engines. When the Cadillac Lyric is so fantastic, that's irritating. The thoughtful, unique detailing complements the technology. It's priced aggressively and yet doesn't feel cheap. The Lyric is the Cadillac SUV we've desired for years. It's electric! And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comments space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.